Welcome to WebSquare 5 Tutorials. In this exercise, we are going to insert, delete and remove data in GridView, and upload or download in Excel to or from a GridView. The file you are going to use is located at WS5, Web Content, Training, and Type 2. Use Training to UI XML. In this video, you will understand what CRUD is. Insert, delete, and remove data. Initialize the data list. Download GridView into an Excel and upload an Excel to GridView. This is the WebSquare 5 Studio. Go to WS5 Web Content, Training, and Type 2. Select Training to UI XML. This is when the page is rendered on the browser. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. Every data has CRUD status. Let us check each status. In the previous exercise, we have created a column showing the data status. To add the status showing column, we have set row status visible property as true. If you change data, a green mark shows up. Open the debugging menus and check the data list. You can see that the changed data has the row status as U, meaning updated. The initial status is R, meaning initially read from the DB. Now, let us move to adding a new row to the data list bound with the grid view. We are going to use a data list API, that is insert row. Right-click Create button, and select Event and on-click. This is to add an on-click event to the Create button. Remember, that you add data to the data list, not the grid view. The grid view simply shows data of the data list, that it is bound with. If you give index 0 in the Insert Row API, the new row will be added on the first row, or at index 0 position. Let's check on the debugging menus. The status of the newly added row is C, meaning created. Now, remove the index 0. Save. Reload the page. Click the Create button. The new row is added on the last row. Now, let us focus a certain row and add a row above the focused row. To do this, we have to define the ID of the grid view, because we are going to use a grid view API. The grid view ID is grid view 1. Using the get focused row index API of the grid view, get the currently focused position. Then, insert a row above the focused row. Save. Reload the page. Click any row on the grid view, and click create button. You can see that a new row is added above the clicked row. Now deleting a row. For this, use the delete row API. Also, an API of the data list, not the grid view. Right click delete button and select event and on click. Use delete row API and specify the index as zero. This means the first row on the data list will be deleted. Save and reload the page. Click Delete button. The red mark is displayed on the status column. Note that deleting is only to change the data status to D, meaning deleted, not actually eliminating the data. You can also delete the currently focused row. This time also, use the Get Focused Row Index API of the grid view. Save and reload the page. Focus any row and click the Delete button. You can see that the status of the focused row is changed to D, meaning deleted. Now removing a row, remove is to entirely eliminate the data, unlike delete, that is simply to change the data status. Right-click Remove button and select Event and on-click. Use Remove Row API and give index of 0. This will remove the first row of the data list. Let us check on the debugging menus. You can see that the actual data of the first row does not exit anymore. 
meaning removed. Now, do not specify the row index in the Remove Row API. Save and reload the page. You can see that each time we click the Remove button, the last row is removed. Lastly, let us remove the focused row. Use the Get Focused Row Index API of the grid view, the same API that we have used previously to delete the focused row. Save. Reload the page. Focus any row and click the Remove button. You can see that the focused row is removed. By this time, you may understand the difference between delete and remove. Delete is to simply change the data status to delete, but remove is to eliminate the data. Since removing is eliminating the data, you might want to check the data to be removed. In this case, you can check the removed data, use console, log, or alert. Save and reload the page. Upon a row being removed, an alert showing the removed data pops up, and the removed data is also logged on the console window of the developer tool of the browser. Now, deleting more than one row. Use Delete Rows API of the data list. Right-click Delete Rows button and select Event and on-click. Use Delete Rows and give an array of 0, 1, 2, 3. Save and reload the page. Click Delete Rows button. You can see the rows from index 0 to index 3 are deleted. Now, let us add a checkbox column and delete only the selected rows in the checkbox column. To do this, first we add a column to the grid view. The newly added column also needs to be bound with the data list. For example, code column is bound with employee code column of the data list. So, we add a column to the data list and set the column ID and column name as chk. Apply and close. Select the added grid view column. and set the ID property of the column as CHK. Also, set the input type of the column as checkbox. Save. Reload the page. You can see a new column with checkboxes has been added to the grid view. Now, let us add a checkbox to the header. Click the header and set the input type as checkbox. Save and reload the page. By clicking the header checkbox, you can select the entire rows of the grid view. Clicking a checkbox changes the row status. If you do not want this, go to the studio and select outline, head, and the data list, and select the CHK column of the data list. Then, on the property view, set the ignore status property of the data list column as true. Save and reload the page. You select the checkboxes, but nothing shows up in the status column. Now, let us add a code to delete only the selected rows. Use get checked index API of the grid view and specify the CHK column. Save. Reload the page. Select rows by clicking check boxes and click delete. You can see that the selected rows are deleted. Now, removing more than one row. Use Remove Rows API of the data list. Right click Remove Rows button and select Event and on click. Use Remove Rows API and specify the index as an array of 0 to 3. Save and reload the page. Click Remove Rows button. 
Then, you can see that the rows from index 0 to 3 are removed. Coming back the script tab, let us add code to remove only the rows selected in the checkbox column. Use get checked index API and specify the CHK column. Save. Reload the page. Select rows by clicking check boxes and click remove rows button. You can see that the selected rows are removed. You can also check the data of the removed rows. This is an example code to view the removed data on the console window of the developer's tool of the browser, as well as through an alert message. Use console log or console table to view multiple rows or alert. Save. Reload the page. Select multiple rows and remove. The removed data is displayed as an alert and also displayed on the console window of the developer's tool. Now, initializing the data list. Use remove all or set JSON API of the data list. Right click the initialize button and select event and on click. Let us try with the remove all API first. Save. Reload the page. Click initialize. No data on the grid view. Now, try set JSON API. Save. Reload the page. Click initialize. Also, no data. Note however, set JSON is faster than remove all API. You can download the current grid view as an Excel file. Right click download button and select event and on click. Use advanced Excel download API of the grid view. Save. Reload the page. Click download. Open the downloaded Excel file. You can see that the same grid view on the browser is downloaded into an Excel. Lastly, you can also upload an Excel file to the grid view. Right click the upload button and select event and on click. Use Advanced Excel Upload API of the grid view. Save. This is an Excel file, Excel Upload, that we are going to upload to the grid view. Reload the page and submit the data. Click the Upload button. Select Excel Upload file that we have just seen. Click Upload file. The Excel file is now uploaded to grid view. Reload the page again. Without submitting data, immediately upload the Excel file to the grid view. The Excel file is also uploaded to the grid view. Thank you for watching.